Okay, so for any of you who don't know me, my name's Justine Bunting. I'm a single mum. I live in Zetland. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a hairdresser who's lost a business. I could go on and on and on, but I've got to try and make this as short and sweet as possible. I just made some comments on my Facebook page in regards to um, having the vaccine, which I've just had. I'm just going to turn you around and I need to paint while I'm talking to you because it's just, it's just, just easier for me to do that without having a camera there. So hold on for a second. Um, and you can watch me paint. That's probably the better way. Because I like to have an audience. There you go. And I hope you can hear me. Um, this is just my natural environment, so I'm, I will talk easily. I've just um, told, gone back from the doctors, okay? So I've had, just had my, um, three weeks ago, I had my second jab, second AstraZeneca jab, which I really didn't want to have. I really said, I said to my doctor, I, I, I really am not, not sure after cancelling my appointment three times. I said, I, I, I'm really quite sure that I don't want this, you know? Uh, I've just come out of hospital for three months. Well, I was in there for two, like almost two months with um, sepsis and a uh, infection in my heart, an infection in my spine, and an infection in my blood, and abscesses and uh, my heart valves all infected. And prior to that, I've had um, whooping cough, pneumonia. Um, was hospitalised and in out on IV antibiotics for three months, and I have that heart valve problem now. I thought I would have thought that somebody would look up that sort of thing, you know, um, in your file to see if you you are okay to have that particular AstraZeneca or whatever. And I did stress my concerns, I really did, after cancelling three times and, and finally getting there and basically being told that I have to come today because they've already drawn it up in the syringe and if you can't, don't come today, you don't get it at all. And at that point, like, I wouldn't have cared, but I'd already had the first one and I sort of felt like I'd been quite pressured into it, really. Like, I didn't really, I really didn't want to have it. Anyway... Long story short, sat down, had the jab. The last thing I said to my doctor was, if I die, I will kill you. Um, and took my life in my hands with one single needle, which generally I'm not afraid of. Um, since then, I've had various different symptoms. Week one was okay, not too bad. Week two, I started to get my joints, or my joints were arthritic. I couldn't, I couldn't move, bend my fingers much. Um, followed by waking, being woken up at night with tingling and numbness in my hands and pain like carpal tunnel. Um, the same sort of thing like when, you, when your arms just go completely numb and they're, they're so painful that the numbness and the tingling that it wakes you up and you can't, like this is the longest I've been able to hold a paintbrush for quite some time because my hands cramps up and get so sore. Um, and then as I was standing up painting on, I think it was last Friday night, my sister was here watching me and the next minute I just collapsed to the ground. Like I, I couldn't, my leg couldn't hold me up because of this pain behind my knee. It was just like excruciating behind my left knee. Like it's, I've never felt anything like that before. It was weird, it was like a different sort of pain. I'm, like a, like, like,